Jerry's Book Tree. Little Goose by David Mraz. Illustrations by Margot Apple. Little Goose liked pebbles and puddles, marbles and bubbles, baskets and buckets, and balls that roll. He liked the number 8 and the letter O, and how all those things made his eyes go walking round and round without ever stopping. What is it about those things? he wondered. Off he waddled to find his mother. She was sitting by the pond, in the sand and the sedge, at the water's edge. Hunk, she said. Hunky unky, mama, he said in his little goose voice. Things that can make my eyes go walking remind me of something. The way they go round and round without ever stopping. It's something cozy and comfy and happy too. I try to remember what it is, but I can't. Can you? I think you were the only one who can do that, said his mother. Little Goose clacked his beak. I'll find out what it is, he said, even if I have to go around the world. Mama Goose waved a wing over the pond. The world is a big place, she said. But if you keep wandering over water, your wing and the water will bring you home to me, safe as ever. So Little Goose began his trip around the world, always keeping one wing over water. He waddled along as he wiggled along. And with a waddle and a wiggle, he came upon Turtle, dozing on top of his rock, in the middle. Uncle, uncle, Turtle, said Little Goose. Things that make my eyes go walking remind me of something. Something cozy and comfy and happy too. But I don't know what it is. Do you? My little rock makes me comfy and happy, said Turtle. Little Goose hopped onto Turtle's rock. He climbed up and up till he reached the top. When he tried to sit, he slipped, and he flipped, kerplop, into the water. That was not cozy, or comfy, or happy, said Little Goose. Maybe, said Turtle, you're looking for something less slippery. So Little Goose set off again. He jigged along, and he jogged along, and with a jig and a jog, he came upon Frog. Sitting on a log in the mud by the pond. Hunkly Hunkly Frog, said Little Goose. What do you know about hoops and hats and wheels that roll? They remind me of something. The way they go round and round without ever stopping. Whoa, said Frog with a little hop. Flies go and go and they never stop. Little Goose's eyes follow the flies round and round. But he was not cozy or comfy or happy. He was dizzy. Maybe said Frog. Buzzing things are not what you are looking for. So Little Goose started off again. He went slipping along and he went sliding along. And with a slip and a slide, he came upon Mouse by the water near her house. Hungly Hungly Mouse, can you help me find something round that makes my eyes go walking? My little house, said Mouse. It's round and there's a hole at the top that goes into the ground. Little Goose squeezed through the hole and pushed his way down into Mouse's house, far, far below. But that tiny little house, just right for a mouse, was much too small for a little goose. He was not cozy or comfy or happy in there. Mama, he said. But all he could hear was his own heart beating. Poor little goose scrunched and scrunched. Backwards he went until at last he was out. Out in the air was a sky and a water. Hank! He cried with a big goose sound. Hank! He cried again, even louder. He hurried along and he scurried along. It was a hurry and a scurry he was back, just like that, to his home by the pond. Little Goose ran to his mother. He was happy to be home, and happy to honk was a big goose sound. Do you remember? said his mother. One of us, having fun with things that go around, remind you of? And all at once, he knew. It was his mama's wings, soft as ever. They made him cozy and comfy and happy all over. From side to side and bottom to top, they went round and round him, and they never stopped.